Cyprus is an island, a large island, 9,000 square kilometers, the third largest in the Mediterranean. And yet, its landscapes are so varied that visitors and residents alike are under the impression that it is a vast continent. But it's a continent that can be traveled almost completely in just one day. And yet, this uniqueness of Cyprus surely had a hand in shaping the mentality and the cosmopolitan nature of the Cypriots. Hospitable, cheerful, restless, they are always especially delighted to be given the chance to help a foreign visitor. If you came here by air, you may have noticed, as you began to descend prior to landing, how the clouds suddenly disappear, as if by magic. Take a look at any European TV weather forecast. Even when conditions in the broader region are bad, this is how Cyprus looks. And why in summer there isn't a cloud in the sky? and the average maximum temperature is around 32 degrees Celsius, during the winter months, it is around 17 degrees. This fantastic climate, the short distances to anywhere, and the varied landscape give Cyprus every reason to boast. Snow skiing in the morning, water skiing and swimming at midday. and a nice big salad for starters. Small red mallet from the waters of Cyprus fried with potatoes as a main course and ice cold local beer. All of which brings us to the question of where you should stay. From Polis and Paphos to the west to Limassol and Larnaca to the south and Ayanaba and Prodaras to the east your choice is limitless. You can stay in first-rate, five-star luxury hotels, famous for their location and the service they offer, or in fully furnished self-catering apartments and villas. Then again, you could choose a small, traditional house and live the rustic life first-hand. Wherever you are, Nature is never far away from you, providing experts and novices alike with the unique experience of discovering new species of endemic flora and fauna. You can also find yourself close to nature by joining an organized walk in one of so many wonderful locations. Or by seeing the island on a bicycle with one of the excursions that never stop all the year round. Now, here's something to think about. Cyprus might never have existed at all 
the whole island emerged from the sea due to the movement of the African and Asian tectonic plates and the entire process ended a mere one million years ago. Hence the myth of Aphrodite, Cyprus's most celebrated ancient goddess, emerging from the foam of Paphos. This is where she was born, amid the waves. Every visitor should come here to pay his or her respects to the goddess. Take a swim too, if you fancy it. Whenever there is a drought, by no means unusual in Cyprus, the Greek Cypriot's religious devotion manifests itself in prayers for rain, led by the Archbishop as head of the church. The government, of course, cannot afford to rely on prayer alone. Some 100 dams all over Cyprus control the rivers and streams, blocking them and conserving their waters. And if you happen to be a keen angler of trout or carp, join the club. In Cyprus, they are biting all the year round. This is the archaeological museum in the capital of Cyprus, Nicosia. Every town has its own archaeological museums. In reality, the whole of Cyprus is one big archaeological site. Building contractors, the public works department, villagers and farmers are constantly coming across ancient tombs. Cyprus lends its name to the Latin name for the mineral copper, cuprum. And for 4,500 years, the island was the biggest producer and exporter of copper in the whole of the Mediterranean. One main reason why the ancient Cypriots didn't mine every bit of it, but left a little for us, is that they had no means with which to remove water from the galleries. But they had located every single seam of copper in Cyprus. In modern day Cyprus, antiquity is still present and alive everywhere. And traditions such as pottery making carry on until today. The creation of mosaics, such as these from the Roman era, which are beautifully preserved in Paphos, still goes on. Seventeen centuries of Byzantine art are far more than being mere examples of a dated art form, abandoned in museums. They are a vital part of daily life in 21st century Cyprus. Ten churches and a further three archaeological sites are listed by UNESCO as protected monuments and World Heritage Sites. The Venetian walls of Nicosia were built in the 16th century in the place of earlier medieval fortifications. Limassol Castle is where Richard the Lionheart married Princess Berengaria of Navarre and where she was crowned Queen of England. But even more famous is Colossi Castle. This is where the Knights of St. John produced a very sweet strong wine from the surrounding vineyards, which they exported to Europe. Comandaria. Comandaria has officially been recognized as the oldest named wine in the world and is still exported today as well as many other Cypriot wines. For 10 days in early September, you can come to the Wine Festival in Limassol and drink all the wine you like. Not only that, you can try your hand, or rather your feet, at the traditional wine press. 
But this is not the only reason why so many people come to Cyprus in September, or indeed in any other month. Cyprus is an ideal place for holding conferences of all kinds. Every hotel, large or small, has its fully equipped conference hall, while in the capital there is a large modern conference center. Telecommunications in Cyprus are among the best developed in Europe and are certainly as good as those anywhere else in the world. Incredible, but true. You can see Cairo, Alexandria, the pyramids, the Sphinx, and all the fascinating places in the Holy Land, where Christ lived until his crucifixion and resurrection by taking an unbelievably low-priced cruise for two or three days to one of Cyprus's neighboring countries. Don't miss the opportunity. Well, we haven't had a chance to tell you anything about the island's two top-class marinas, soon to be three, or about the many football grounds that are used by professional teams from other countries for training when weather conditions elsewhere are poor. Or about the fact that every year the now famous Cyprus Rally is held here. Or that we have golf courses, countless night sports and clubs, with no safety problems for anyone. Shopping opportunities are fantastic. One famous customer of these hand-embroidered pieces of lace from Lefkara village was a certain Mr. Leonardo da Vinci. Don't forget the summer performances of ancient Greek drama, which have been staged here for the last two and a half thousand years. Take part in the annual Limas with Carnival and in numerous other local and international events throughout the year. Have fun and yes!